Okay, we were almost done with the beard here, and we're going to go back here, and we're going to do a stop cut again, and follow this up and around up to the brim of the hat. I'll be very careful, and then we're going to cut that out on the bottom side, and cut it a little bit of a V cut on the top, like a nice big V cut. Now I will be using a micro tool um, gouge, a V, a V, uh, only one. Um, the V tool here and if I want to put nostrils in I'll end up doing that as well so here we're going to try to finish up the eye and part of the nose so the nose comes out a little ways and then goes inward just like so now let's make it a little fatter now let me see something here something does not look correct to me okay let me redo that a little bit I'll be right back, folks. Sometimes I can't see it from there. Alright. What I did was I put a little hollow mark right in here, a little cutout, a little bit deeper. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take the knife, go straight in, do another stop cut up to the brim of the hat, or the side of the nose. See how I, how I have that in there? That's how I have it. And that's how deep it is. Because where your eye is along your nose, it's a, a very deep part of the face. So um, what you want to do is come back out and you want to follow this out just like so. I plan on putting this one and the Windy Santa ornament on a DVD uh, and when I get this done, hopefully. And uh, that will be number... 63. I'm a little slower this year in cranking out DVDs but or videos. I was very busy uh, carving. We're going to round the nose, bottom part of the nose off. All right, reshaping, reshaping the nose a little bit. Just take the edge off of there. And remember, when you carve, you want to get all these rough saw marks off your carving. If you don't do it, and you go to paint the red, you're going to it's going to look very blotchy because that will soak up that the, the parts that are rougher and not hit with the knife cut with the knife like I'm doing now those areas will look darker when you go to paint they'll soak up more paint when they're rough okay so you want to be careful of that and you want to make sure you clean everything up all right all right look it's looking good all right it's coming up pretty good so with that said uh, let's go back uh, here and we're going to kind of scoop this out a little bit. That's what I did on that one. We're going to just scoop this out just like the beard would be underneath uh, the mustache. So we're just going to shape this before we we actually cut it. See there's a little bit of a dip there. Alright. Now so we're going to take our pencil and we're going to mark off right here. Well, that's a, let's get rid of this rough stuff here. Let me Let me take care of this first. That really irritates me that's there, so not irritates me, but it makes it easier if you get rid of it first. Carving is so much fun, folks. There's, you know, with all my projects, I'm just telling you, there's so many variations you can do these Santas and things. Um, it really is uh, not limited, you know, it's unlimited what you can do. Every time I think I can't think of anything more to do with a block of wood. Ta-da, there's another one. So, <laughs> it's like, wow. Oh, my. Anyway, let's keep going here. We're going to give him a nice mustache. So, we're going to bring this down from the side of the nose. And we're going to kind of loop this like that. And we're going to, this is one half of the mustache here, okay? We're going to have a nice loop. And the rest of it's going to be tucked under. The pointed part is going to be tucked underneath his um, his hat. And then this is the middle right here, right? So we can put a little line down there, and the, we'll be able to see. Okay. And then we're going to do the same thing here. Now here, uh, here's where you kind of measure. It's kind of where the bottom part of that mustache is. So. I want to try to get it down as low as that and then bring it back up a little bit. That looks good. That's that's to my satisfaction there. That's good. Bring it over just a tad. 
Now, I have all my Santa singing. <laughs> well, a singing Santa, anyway. And um, it worked out really, really well. So, um, now, something doesn't look right to me. Just bear with me for a minute here. I'm just going to bring this up just a bit more. This is going to have a pretty big cheek on him, so we're going to cut the cheek portion out first to the nose. Alright, stop cut, and then you're going to go from the top of where his cheek is. You're going to go down towards the beard and just cut that out. Kind of a big old V cut, but you want that, you want that initial stop cut to separate it. Okay, and over here where the hat and, and the beard and come, we're going to just notch a little piece out, make it a little deeper. I'm all for making things look deeper. Uh, it really enhances your piece and going back over it. So I'm going to do this side first since I'm right handed. I'm going to come down here and I'm going to swing this down and around up to the... Now you won't, be careful when you get up to the to the hat here. You don't want to be digging into the hat. Okay, make sure your knife is tilted a little bit back when you do it. That way uh, you, you can bring it right up to that brim. Okay? Same thing here. I'm going to just lean this down here to keep my hand out of the way. And, um, you know, if you don't get it real deep the first time, you can go back. Turn it, uh, you can go back and do it again. But you can also go from, when you get up close to it, you can turn the knife around and go from the bottom up. Um, I mean, from the bottom of the hat down to get that last portion of that beard. So we're going to just take the tip of the knife. Now, right here should be the deepest portion because we're going to put that little singing Santa or that his mouth in there with his lip and we're going to just chop like a little triangular cut just like so all right and let's see here I thought I had a piece yeah there it is all right you want a pretty deep right underneath there because you're going to be cutting away the the edge of the beard you know you're going to round that edge off uh, yeah, I like taking the tip of the knife now when you do this you want to kind of be careful that you're guiding it along that edge and not pushing it up and then cutting it because then you're going to have this all choppy at the top so it's it's really just learning the feel of your knife how deep you're going and you only learn that, folks, by doing the carving and carving a lot. You'll get a real sense of feel when you need to flip that thing around because you're going against the grain. Of course, the grain on this piece is going up and down. You know, the end grains are the top and the bottom uh, of the of the carving. But uh, as you can see, he's he's coming along pretty good. All right, we'll be right back. 